This is part six of a series of videos based upon the Eligu Most Complete Starter Kit for Arduino. In this video, we're looking at lesson 11, which covers the membrane switch module. Here, I have a box of precious things, which is currently locked. Uh, it's not locked with the little tab there, it's locked internally, and I can only unlock it with the switch pad. We can see that it's locked by the red LED. If I now put in the secret code, changes to green and I can get access to my precious things. Oh, golden. We'll come back to this example after we've gone through the Eligu introduction. Looking at lesson 11 now, in the overview it describes where these keypads are used. I think that's fairly evident. Anybody that's used an ATM system or access to, to buildings, etc., will be familiar with these. Rather than having individual wires for each of the switches, it uses a matrix. Here we can see the matrix with the individual rows and columns identified by the different colours there, connected to their respective pins on the Arduino. Quite a straightforward setup there. Taking a look at the sketch, we can see that the rows and columns, there's four inputs for each, their respective designations for the numbers and letters and the special characters. This example uses the serial monitor that we saw in the last lesson at 9600 board again, and this will just print out the numbers and letters as we press the keypad. Very simple there, serial print line custom key. Don't forget again to include the keypad library. Again, that is in the Eligu directory under the code and again under libraries. If we now start the serial monitor, here it is at 9600 Bode, and we simply press and we can see the individual numbers and letters as we press the keys. The star and the hash you can assign to special functions as we did in the locked box example, the hash or the star will relock the box after you put in your code. So very simple but uh, very effective. Returning to our key lock example from the beginning uses exactly the same connections for the keypad. It's just added the connection here for the servo control wire. The servo 5 volts connects there and the red and green outputs for the LEDs. Currently it's in the lock position so this will fall behind this bracket here and lock the lid down and as we saw we put in the secret code the LED turns green and the servo unlocks the lid. Have a quick look through the sketch here at the beginning the includes for the servo library and the keypad as we saw in the Eligu example. We can put our password in here which is four digits and you can pick any numbers you like to put in there. The definition of the rows and columns is as before. We have the addition of the pins for the green and red LEDs. In the setup it sets the pin modes to outputs for the LEDs and attaches the servo motor function to pin 11 and puts the servo into the lock position. The loop goes round and gets the keypad, so if it sees a star or a hash, it will re-lock. This number four relates to the number of digits in the pin number, so you could change that to five or six should you desire. And clearly it writes either lock or unlock to the LEDs at the end of the void. This is an additional void called locked position and this controls the servo and the LEDs and this is where it writes the 90 degree function for the servo motor. So quite straightforward and you could develop this code further. It changes to green and I can get access to my precious things. Oh, golden.